Well, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Playframe, Banjo-Kazooie, Two Dans, and the best season best of all season. of them. Best season, here we go. Not to pick that fight again, I'm just... I'm ready, pick it. I'm just pick, winning the fight. Best season. Still loopy, just to warn you up front. <laughs> that may be a good or a bad thing. Definitely a good thing. I hope so. You be the judge, everyone. Type in comments if it's a good thing. <laughs> and again, if it's That's a bad it. thing, I don't, don't want to hear about it. I don't it. want to know. Yeah. Yeah, don't. Oh, Cars are still here. I don't here. know how I avoided that, but that was cool. It's getting late, so we needed to keep on recording <laughs> to get everything done today that we needed to. But that does mean we didn't have time for the car party outside to get broken up. So that's still going strong. Oh, he's big. That's a very large one. They've had time to grow. Yeah. Because it's fall now. Look at all the leaves. And, and the then, birds. And birds still there. Bitey birds. I love their very... That's cool. Human bird scream. <laughs> <laughs> and some really good animation on their fall, too. That's right. I was going to look up, like, two weeks ago. Who animated this? Who the heck did this? I love how uh, it's the same enemy, but they get such variety out of it. Of the uh, the, the eel slugs, yep. the uh, the bone slugs, the totally. birds. There's another version, right? Of the same enemy, I feel like. I think so. So, ooh, di dive oh. under. I want to hear this water. I think this might be a different version. Yep. Yep, it is. There it is. Oh, my goodness. We are up to nine versions of this so far, y'all. It's bonkers. And I believe this is about to be another theme. It might be Nam Nuts as well, but we gotta visit our beaver friend. Somebody's credited as the chief of ideas? <laughs> and another person credited as more ideas? I've been telling people for years, like, no, there are no idea guys in this industry. You can't get hired to be idea guys. There were two on this game. Maybe that's why no one else has been able to make a good banjo game. We're not hiring we enough idea, idea people. Guys, yeah. <laughs> uh, Definitely new theme. That's a new theme. Wow. That's 10. Sorry, I'm just going to keep on do going down this credits list at this point. These are extremely rare, limited credits. Chief keyboard tapper. Deputy keyboard tappers. Other keyboard tapping. <laughs> Chief scribbler. Ooh. Cartoony bits and more scribbling. Scene crayoner. <laughs> Scene crayon? That's pretty good. Big Noisemaker. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's very good. Big Noisemaker, Grant Kirkhope, of course. Uh, <laughs> Chief Free Player, which is, I think, their QA department. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's pretty good. This is not very useful for finding who the animator was. Wait, moving and shaking. That seems, that seems like an animator. Tim Stamper. I'm going to look up who this is, because... So, like, this is a fun thing with old video games or video games from this era. There are people who, like, are still working in this industry now who can tell you stories of the time they worked on that one game that you loved when you were a kid, and they'll say, like, oh, yeah, I did literally all of the animation in it. <laughs> it was just me. Yeah. Like, I, was, I once worked with a guy who said, it's like, oh, yeah, when I was animating literally everything in, I don't know, Counter-Strike or Half-Life... I think it was Half-Life 1 or something. <laughs> that is bonkers. <laughs> yeah, just something like, just one of those things where the teams were small back then. <laughs> and yeah, like now he's like, just incredible like tech whiz guy, like chief technical officer of some place. But back then, and he was like one of the main tech guys back then too, but he also just made all the animations because they didn't have a dedicated animator on that project, which was often the case for a lot of things way back in the day. You didn't really have a dedicated animator on lots of stuff. Teams were small. Mm-hmm. Like, we're only now getting to the t point where, like, big companies will have dedicated lighters. That's the thing that, like, the film industry has had in CG since CG film has been a thing. But because we don't really do real-time lighting very often, or we do it in a very limited way in games, we fake it most of the time. 
One more time. <laughs> We're really bullying the heck out of this camel. Really bullying him. Anyway, Rare's credits for this game are very good. And thank you... What was your name? Tim Stamper. Off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. He's the creative director there now. Wow. Or no, he was for a while. I'm gonna look this up later. Sorry, I'm gonna stop wiki diving. <laughs> the, uh, wiki um, diving's fun. It is fun. It's and such great radio too. Yeah. How's fall going? It's great. It's it's a good theme. It's the, the I love the fallen leaves. I do too. It's making me excited for literal fall hap. I, I was about to say out loud for literal fall happening. I don't know how long it's going to be until this episode comes out. It might be fall. It won't be that long. But fall will be close. <laughs> It'll be closer than it is for us right now. That's probably true. I can't wait for fall. Fall's great. Can't wait. There's frogs croaking in this version of the soundtrack. <laughs> and cars outside. They're still there. They're still there. It's that time of year. The cars come out. <laughs> the cars have sprouted their wings and emerged from their cocoons. Yep. Of being a decent person, and now they're off. <laughs> the true metamorphosis uh, has begun. And if the car doesn't immediately pull back into the garage, we'll get another Fast and the Furious movie this year. Oh. <laughs> Which we're starting to watch with, so we like got some friends over to hang out. And you weren't able to make it, unfortunately, but like. Yeah, that was right when I got my, uh, my 5G. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. <laughs> They're moving out. They're leaving there. Can we, can we still hurt them? It's pretty high up there. He comes down low. If I bet you, if you believe in yourself... I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. You can do this. Whoa. I'm so curious. I've never actually tried this. I believe oh, it can happen. He stopped for a sec. Yeah, his root kind of keeps changing up on you a little bit. Yeah. You can do it. That's a large bee, though. Dude. Oh, you little turd. <laughs> Bees are cool. This is a different version of the theme. It is. There's no theremin. Yeah. Or not right now. It's like sadder. Or maybe it's just a different part of it. There's the theremin. Ah. I don't know. You know, I could cheat. Like, I've got the soundtrack in iTunes. I could probably pull it up and just see what all the versions of this are, but I don't want to. That's cheating. Yes. We're counting them. Okay, I don't think I can get it. <laughs> Too evasive, that be. Because I feel like... Okay, he, he's like... He's reading me like a book now. He, he's, he's taunting me. <laughs> he's like, oh, you want that honey? You're not getting that honey. Uh, he moves like they do. This is forbidden honey. <laughs> lava. The lava. The lava hive. Ooh, that's a fun concept art. Lava hive? Idea. Oh, yeah. Lava, lava bees? That is... I don't know what game that's a level four. Silk song, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's it. Thanks. You nailed it. You got it in one. The lava bees. The lava hive. Heck yeah. Gosh, I want Silk Song to come out. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm really impatient. I, I like kind of threw on the trailer that they put out on like the... The Nintendo, uh, uh, what's the thing called? Sorry, it's late. Treehouse? No, they're, um, like, they're direct. The Nintendo Direct, like, a oh, yeah. couple years ago at this point, when they first put out their, like, uh, reveal trailer, there were a lot of locations, and it looked really good already. Yeah. I, I imagine they're just, they're just adding that bonkers amount of content, because, like, yeah. There, there are a few games where I'm like, this needs to be more expensive. <laughs> and Hollow Knight is one Hollow of Knight's them. one of those games. That should it be should a more not expensive be game. as cheap as it is. It should not. It is bonkers. They should charge more. And now I'm imagining they feel the pressure to, for Silk Song to have like the quantity of content that Hollow Knight eventually had. Mm -hmm. Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? Nope. Bye. <laughs> and then he died. 
kind of waiting for the acorns to come to him. Yeah, it's kind of one of the grasshopper and the ant situations. <laughs> Doesn't the like grasshopper just eat the ant or something? I can't. I don't remember, but that's the thing I can Google. It's like the grasshopper steals all the ant stuff, right? Google does grasshopper eat ant? Yeah. What's what's the what's the what's the story here? Because like it seems like the grasshopper is just winning in all situations here. Google says grasshoppers do not eat ants. Well, well, Grasshoppers are often themselves the prey of ants oh. when they get injured and di or die. Well, then what's the what's the like fable? There are some nasty ants out there, though. It's kind of neither here nor there, but there are. Hang on, I'm gonna maybe if I add the fable word in there, that'll modify my results somewhat. Yeah, because the the grasshoppers don't hoard anything, and then winter comes and then they die. I thought they, like, did some... Maybe I'm just thinking of a bug's life. <laughs> How am I not getting this nut, Dan? I couldn't tell you, buddy. <laughs> these are the sentences I like to say on stream where I'm like, these are words that came out of my mouth. Now. Thank goodness this was recorded. The fable concerns a grasshopper, or in the original, a cicada, ooh, that was that has spent the summer singing while the ant uh, worked to store up food preach car mm -hmm. while uh to store food for the winter when that season arrives the grasshopper finds itself dying of hunger and begs the ant for food however the ant rebukes its idleness and tells it to dance the winter away now cruel versions of the fable are found in the verse collections of the okay this is getting boring already cars i swear uh, like engines backfiring and everything yeah getting salty about it now those dang cars the story has been used to teach the virtues of hard work and perils of improvidence. Some versions state a moral at the end along the lines of an idle soul shall suffer hunger or work today to eat tomorrow. July is followed by December. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. There is, nevertheless, and this is where we get a twist, an alternative tradition also described to Aesop in which the ant was seen as a bad example. This appears as a counter fable. It relates that the ant was once a man who was always busy farming. Not satisfied with the results of his own labor, he plundered his neighbor's crops at night, and this angered the king of the gods, who turned them into what is now an ant. Wow, that really went places I didn't expect. Wow, yeah. The, yet, even though the man had changed his shape, he did not change his habits, and to this day goes around the fields gathering the fruits of other people's labor, storing them up for himself. What a jerk. Dang ants. I did your work for you, Nabnut. <laughs> See you in spring. And we learned a valuable lesson or two. Yeah. That lesson is um, eat ants. Eat ants. I believe that's what the lesson is. Right? I was having to do some research for like a random work thing. As you oh, do, boy. as is often the case, as animators, you'll find yourself looking up the wildest, weirdest reference and learning all kinds of neat things. Uh, there's some real scary ants out there. <laughs> ants are scary. I remember there was like... Um, like those big old bull ants or whatever. Mm -hmm. We get those in Florida and they're like Ugh. like they're not even they're they're too big to like for my brain to be like that's an ant. It's really uncomfortable. Yeah. Also like I hate carpenter ants. Yeah. Those are they're scary. It's the army ants are the ones that are that I think that upset me because they're like hearing them described at least in nature documentary form is really intense. They are just a swarm. They can't see super good, but basically all other insect life in the area knows like your only hope of surviving, no matter how big you are, is to just stay perfectly still. Because if they detect your movement, they will swarm you and you're dead. That's bonkers. Right? Ants, man. It's like those, um... Nature sucks. What are, what are those, like, bullet ants where they're like... Their sting is, like, incredibly painful? Yeah, yeah. I've... I don't remember the guy's name now, but, like... There's this one sort of, uh... It was on, like, a documentary show, and they were like, I'm going to demonstrate how painful this is, because, yes. like, a tribe does it for, yeah, yeah, like, like a coming of age or something. I wish I could remember the guy's name, because he's, like, he's on YouTube. He does this stuff all the time, which is ridiculous, where he just finds, like, all right, here are all the insects that have the most painful... Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know the guy? Like... I, I can't think of his name, uh, but... It's going to bug me. Because I, 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 I was thinking of, like, Bear Grylls or something like that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But... 
there is totally yeah i remember watching one where he, one of those like big centipedes yeah he got bit by and was like nope <laughs> no yeah no it's uh definitely don't look that stuff up if you are like scared by small and stinging insects and like because it's yeah but it's really cool and like he's a gutsy dude he's he's in insane pain usually and like very clearly describing like the sensations he's going through but he's also taking like as much he's really trying hard not to hurt the insect and like he's yeah catching it as carefully as he can like he's he's teaching at the same time while doing it's like the a way more intense version of like hot ones for nature documentarians where it's like i'm gonna go through extreme pain for your entertainment and also try to teach you about this really cool thing yeah <laughs> don't do this <laughs> this hurts like this hurts the person and like it hurts and it's it's not like a it's usually not a kind of hurts that goes away in 10 minutes it's a hurts for like i'm out for a day <laughs> mm -hmm. i can't feel my arm for the rest of the day Let's stop talking about this. Yeah, it's a good call. <laughs> good. Sorry, commenters, if that was here. if that was not a fun topic for a while. It's late, and I don't have a filter anymore. But hey, you know what? It's we're just going wherever our brain goes. You know, we're in the best season, and we're talking about unpleasant things. That's nonsense. Let's talk about yeah. good stuff. See, we we should make a podcast that way. Like for for these moments, we could be like, this is the this is the bug bite insect episode. <laughs> so you can just skip out of this. <laughs> well, here we'll put up some. I'll, we'll put up some warning ahead of time <laughs> with a time code to let people who don't want to hear about bugs uh, skip ahead. Skip ahead. This is a long level. It's not like you'll have missed that much. Yeah. I'm looking for the um, that one little overhang platform. I think there was a, a, a second one. I could be wrong, but I feel like there's a grunty switch on one of them. Thank goodness for your memory, man. We'd have really... I'd have really been stuck a few times more than I already was. I think I think I might be thinking of um There's some notes down there. Was there notes? There? there was notes. Oh yeah, the the ones on the Look at them notes. That flower is really coming together. Yeah, I actually believe there's a jiggy right down on it too. Yeah, cuz we got it. We got it fully grown and uh we got to grab it. Yep. Everyone, like, every year I have people coming and asking me for my gardening tips, and the one thing I always tell them every time More is, like, have you tried tormenting a camel? Yeah. Because I guarantee you, you will see results. Or your money back. <laughs> <laughs> show me, show me a flower that hasn't bloomed, and I'll show you a camel that needs to be... <laughs> <laughs> Butt stomped like, by a bear. Stomped, yeah, by with a backpack. Hmm, this is gonna be troublesome for the rest of these notes. Without any gold feathers. This playthrough really does lead to the greatest sentences. <laughs> Need the gold feathers. Yeah. What do you think Mumbo's up to this season? What is Mumbo up to this season? What's I that, wonder. What's that little goof up to? Will he let you be a bee, or will he have some reason that he's just like, no. I don't know. I don't feel like it today. We're closed. I can definitely feel him on the it's too hot in summer to do things. Yeah, the summer is like, I. that's fair. Summer's not even that bad out here, and I still get... Mumbo busy. Sweep many leaves. No magic today. All right, you know, fair enough. You gotta do chores sometimes. Yeah, I gotta take care of your house. And take care of your living space. It's impossible to concentrate when a place is a mess. Okay. Um, I'm glad you remember to check for those notes now, because if we didn't think about it... We would have never found those. Yeah. Well, there's no jumpy pad there this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know what there are it uh right now? There's a lot of, a lot loud of cars, cars outside yeah. still. This has been like literally pretty much this whole episode. Yeah, and most of the last one too. So uh sorry y'all about that. It's um we're we're making a statement on nature versus humanity. <laughs> what is that statement, Dan? Um but humans bad. <laughs> yeah, check and mate. That was intentional. I I see. Your bear died. 
See, I did that. Did you forget to feed your bear? Because there's a gold feather here. See? Oh. Oh, part of the plan. Now you're ready. All oh, part of the plan, Mr. Floyd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have faith in your routing. Okay, so I think there's two of those. Two of the what now? Uh, um feathers with or not feathers? Um <laughs> The guys with the nukes, the the, the 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 angry boys. Oh right, okay, yeah, the uh, yeah. Yeah. the plants, the plants, the plants. I do wish the birds stayed dead. There's so many of there, them. There, yeah, the birds, birds staying dead would be nice. Like it's way less of a nuisance than the notes all being you, you having to go and collect all the notes again. But it's a little bit of a taste of that frustration. <laughs> the birds coming back. There you go. Oh, I think they do da two damage. Really? Oh, man. Well, it is a big plant. Yeah, it's big. It's a big plant. If I stepped into a Venus flytrap that large, I feel like I would suffer two damage. Yeah. Venus flytrap was always like, I always wanted one. They're really cool. I feel like they're probably very hard to take care of. You know? Yeah. How do you feed them? Yeah, imagine. <laughs> do you have to have, like... Do you have to catch flies? Insects? Like, do you... Someone let us know. Yeah. I, I feel like it's one of those things that, like, it's a very specific climate, too. Oh, you know? yeah, I could see that. I remember uh, as a kid, I always wanted a chameleon, but they are Ooh. very, like, you gotta have this specific, like, humidity and... and oh, they're difficult, huh? Temperature and heating lamp and oh, all this, like... I guess it makes sense, but, yeah. It sounds challenging. This is going off of, like you know, 15-year-old memory here, but I think, I think that was the case. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, I think that was all. No, there wasn't because there was another, there's another stack. <laughs> I think. I think up in the tree. Doo, 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 doo. I'm not going to complain about more time spent in this level. Very, very cool game. Especially when we get such amusing falls as that. Oh, cool. There goes my other feather. And trust me, I know a thing or two about amusing falls. You might die. Nah, We're you're good. Fine. You got boots. Can't die while you're wearing boots. That's a rule. Yep. No one's ever died in boots. No, that's... You know, in movies when, like, they, they you know, you see, like, someone... Has a, like a funny explosion, and then there's shoes behind. If they kept their <laughs> shoes on; they would have been fine. <laughs> you lost me a little bit in that one. But <laughs> no, you don't get on. <laughs> funny explosion. Okay, okay, yes, you know, yes, like, yes, 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 like, yes, yes, yes. Like, okay, like a sort of exaggerated, cartoony. Yeah, sort of like, and the shoes are smoking. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, it like a goofy, goofy. Funny. Yeah, there's. Uh, it's it's funny because the only instance of this I'm thinking of right now is in Half Life. Half Life, but that itself is like referencing, like that bit happening in like movies and stuff like that. Yeah, like I'm envisioning, and I don't think he left shoes behind, but I'm envisioning it like the end of Goofy movie. Goofy sort of trying to like fix their super busted up car mm -hmm. while Max is apologizing to Roxanne and sort of like <laughs> like pointing at it and it explodes and he just instantly vanishes because yeah, he's, he's that, like in the he's sky. Got goofy laugh. Yeah. Man, these cars. Oh, man, they're so cool. I wish I was that cool. <laughs> we all wish we were that cool. How, how, how can we be that cool? I wish I knew. I should go down and ask him someday. Yeah. Hey, what's the secret to being cool? <laughs> what's your secret? Well, every day I how do you do it, guys? Me? Every recording night. <laughs> hey, you want to play banjo? I'd love to play banjo. Oh, is it winter time? It's winter time. It's winter time, everyone. Told you it was a long level. Ah, uh, finally coffee for me. Yeah, you've earned some coffee at this point. I was always getting a little parched. Ah, new version of the theme. <laughs> I think we're up to, like, literally a dozen now. It's bonkers. We need them gold feathers now. You kind of actually need them. Give. Yeah, look, the the Venus flytraps are all dead. Oh, it's yeah. It's cold out. 
We got these snow piles, so like the terrain's different. The, we got these annoying snowmen who yep. suck. I think the thorns are fine the thorns now. Thorns are I frozen. Think. Yep. Yay. So you can just walk on them and look a flight. <sighs> we can fly, which is good because I want to kill. We're gonna get hit by that ice. Because I want to kill snowmen do, do, so do, much. Do, 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 do. Oh, so yeah. I don't know if I said it on. Uh, I was gonna say on stream uh, <laughs> while recording or not, but. When you're trying to line up these shots, because uh, I always had difficulty as a kid. It's really hard. And as an adult, it is based on the center of what the camera is looking at, not where Banjo is pointed. It's good to know, because you basically like line up your character exactly with the target mostly, and you're yeah. good. Because you're pretty much dead center of screen. I'm going to try that, actually. Yeah. I'm not going to be like pointed away, mm -hmm. but I'm going to try having him exactly overlapping. Yeah. Hang on. That's actually harder to do than I than saying it. Yeah. Don't okay. I would say like don't even look at Banjo and just and just line up center. Yeah. I, I guess keeping Banjo as the cursor ah, still works. Low. Okay. There he is. Oh, okay. he moved. He moved. Slick. Oh, I heard a Jinjo somewhere. You did too. Your day will come, Snowman. Bonk. Bonk. Where is he? Maybe he's like I think behind. He was on top of the house. Yep. yep there Maybe you he are. He's just hanging. Give him a little wave. Long range, too low. Aww. Bonk. Nice. Yeah, oh, I landed. Oh. That's fine. Whee. A little slide. I slid. Mm -hmm. Ah, the plant's mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. You know that makes sense. Yep. Had a good life. Yep. Oh, scary. Yeah. You know we're saving that for a bit later. Yeah. <laughs> I did just kill a lot of snowmen. It's so chill and peaceful. It's pleasant. <laughs> Too peaceful for now, says cars outside. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, well, it's Mumbo guy. You'd think I'd be numb to the irritation. I mean, is it irritating? Like, it's one of those things, like, even if. It's a minor annoyance. Oh, we got a gamer <laughs> picture! We got a gamer picture! Bear win gamer pick to spruce up gamer profile. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's really that good. It was great. <laughs> um, even if it's like a minor uh, uh, annoyance. Oh, well, he's not even to go. It's not even freaking here now. Mambo's on vacation. You hairy fool. Come back in spring. <laughs> um. It can still like immediately. It, it almost annoys me more because it's such like a minor thing. Like, you know, like a tiny like gnat or a fly. Yes. In the room, it's such like a like. It doesn't really matter, but it immediately makes me mad. Yeah, it's just kind of a constant droning, just mm -hmm. nuisance, dislike. It's like a certain car outside. <laughs> oh, look at that ice! Whoa! Flipping through the. Yeah, I got a little graphics glitch there. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> this is gonna be a... trying to get the cars out of this audio is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, I imagine that's a blast. Good old time. Let's climb a tree. Mm. 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 You could fly up a tree. You could fly up a tree. That is way easier. But then all these potential things. Now I have notes. to fly because I. But yeah, there's also notes I gotta get to. And... Oh, but I guess snipe. I can fly. Okay, okay. alright. Time to murder every snowman. Yep. Boing. The snowmen die tonight. <laughs> nice. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Man. Bird, please <laughs> calm down. He's just saying hello. I miss you too, Bird. I know it's been a few months. Bonk! Get nice. out of here. Nice. It was like <laughs> the most difficult thing in the game is lining up those shots, I feel. It's really tricky. Satisfying when you hit it, mm -hmm. but. Hey, hey, there's the grunty switch. That. I knew there was one. Bonk! Get out of here. Come back for that in a minute. Any more is. 
think there might be. Dang. I don't know. Beehive's seen better days. Yeah, be they moved out, so. Yes, it's they, true. They didn't, you know, care about upkeep. Oh, look at you. They can grow. Harry, you grew up. Yep. Yeah, it looks like that's it. I think you're right. Okay, yeah. let's go hit that switch. Where's that switch? There you are. There we are. Okay. Boom, and... Nice. We're gonna need to be a bee for that. Gotta be a bee. <sighs> bees are cool. I just like bees. I would like to like bees. <laughs> I just got stung too many times as a kid. Yeah. For kind of like... For sort of no reason. Like, I'm sure there was some reason it would be, like, a bee that I didn't see at all, or that I just, mm -hmm. like, or stepped on out into the grass at some point, or just other, just a wide variety of stingings as a kid that seemed unprompted, that I had no idea where they came from, and just really eventually built up a phobia of the dang things. Ah, uh, yeah. So, like, even if I'm, like, eating... I'd usually avoid eating outside in, like, summer weather or whatever else, like, if there's an outdoor seating area for a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Especially one that's just gonna, like, that's likely to draw some bees in, because if there's a bee flying around, even though I know, like, it's not gonna sting me, it's fine. Like, I am just on edge. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, that's fair. No. I definitely am, like, if, if it is, uh, you know, I, a wasp wasps suck. around or I, I i think almost more just because again i had those situations as a kid a uh, horse fly horse those flies I, despise. I haven't thought about those in a while and i hate them they are wicked i think if, if you dive there's a thing i think you're right oh no i know where it is there's a window above nab nuts house that you can't reach but now that we have flight we can reach Ooh, it Ooh, okay cool hooray I wonder if I can... Nah. Okay. It's to the left. All right, and there's some notes over there that I need to not forget. Seeing the notes will be a lot easier since I can fly here, at least. Mm-hmm. We're getting so close. So close. Uh -huh. Also, there were notes on that one. Ah, dang, yeah, there's notes every which way. There's three there. There's what? Four, four over there. there. So there's another three. It might be in Namnut's house, because I think you need to break the window. Oh, there's stuff right there. That was close. Okay. There's some more right here. Hang on. Let's see what's out of here. Uh, oh, bird. Hey, bird. Bird, do you have something for me? Very mighty eagle. At last, watch me as I fly into the sky. Good luck, Airy. Thanks, Ari. Nice, <laughs> nice. Pooped out G. With the poop sound effect and everything. Thanks, bird. <laughs> <laughs> we Look got at them that. All. We got them all. Take a bow. Game picture and all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the last proper level, too. Yeah. It's a good one to go out on because it's just nice and chunky and long. And yeah. It's satisfying. It's fun. Like... The hard part of it is usually like falling off the tree yep. kind of thing. And obviously things were much rougher on the original again because of notes. Um, oh yeah, gosh. Because I mean like we've died like what, like three times on the level. Yeah. And we every... also know we can. Yeah, um, so we're way more chill about it. But yeah, if every one of those deaths meant that our note counter went back down to zero, well that would just hurt, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. There's no reason to be here. But I do want to see the branch. So you can now just kind of walk up. Yeah. Yeah. So, the thing... Get over there for notes. I think we don't have either of... I don't think we have either honey cookies. Holy cow, do we not? What? Yeah, and Gross. I believe... They're both in this level. In winter. One of them's going to be diving under the ice. Yep, and I think the other one's in Namnet's roof. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to drop down here and hope I make the jump. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
I should do that for grip. Ah, okay. Okay, and then the four on the house. And those are all house. 100 notes. All right, house. All right, I need to loop around. Yeah. Or fly. We'll hire it. And then as soon as you, like, backflip up, I think there's something inside. No, actually, there's not. It's just a mumbo token, so we don't need it. Oh, inside the uh, beehive? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm away. Right, you are. Don't even need them. Don't even need them anymore. We 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 bought all the transformations. I'm surprised we didn't see the joke transformation. I know it's pretty rare. I think it's like like a two percent or something like that. Maybe even more. Just since we're not gonna see it, I'll just make mention. There's a tiny slim. Ch oh no, oh. I can fly. It's fine. There's a ow. There's a tiny slim chance. Anytime you go and uh, get changed, transformed by Mumbo, that he will turn you into a washing machine. Yeah. By accident. It's very cute. You're it still is. wearing the backpack and shorts. And then he and then he just fixes it right yeah, after. Yeah, and then he's like, oops. <laughs> and he tries it again. It's fun because that, uh, that's happened on speed runs that I watched before. <laughs> and they're like, okay, well, there's, you know, 12 seconds or something, however it is. I love that. I mean, I hate it for them, but I mm -hmm. love it for me. Okay, so yeah, Namnet's house, that window right that there. That one. All right, we're gonna have to. So you can bash so you that land thing, huh? on the top of it, um, so you don't have to. Or you can just yeah, do that yeah, yeah, yeah. and save some time. Um, you can also land, and then like if you just position yourself right, you can drop an egg, and it'll hit the like hit box of the. Oh, nice window. That's cool. I'm in. You went, you went, fool. I'm just gonna ram this thing. Get out of here. New version. New version, you're right. It's got some theremin to it, but it's like... Jeez. Yeah, but it's Nam Nuts. I'm writing it down. Nam Nut with theremin. <laughs> I went ahead and already counted underwater winter, which I'm sure is going to be a new thing, which is bringing us up to 13 by my count versions of one theme. And this might be it. We might have we might have finally hit the end. How do I get up there? Uh, Backflip. Barn. There we are. Just um, one more. So I think if you go in the window, we can sneak into Namnet's place. Doesn't that look like it's a thing? It really looks like a thing. Hmm. It's not. Okay. Well. But it looks like thing. I always think it's a thing. Every time I play through, and I'm like, oh, nope. I remember me r noticing or realizing it's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Let's see if it's a, a different theme. It might be the same thing. Yep, same thing. Same theme. But look, he's got a little... He snooze. Aw. Hmm, acorns. I didn't remember the other little squirrel. Cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, need some notes, and then need to go swimming for the final comb. Need to go swimming. And it's scary. Yeah. Mm. It's just nice. Okie dokie. Oh, kill that guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna knock you. Eh, where are we going? Okay. Boing, we're up. So yeah, you want to uh, go in a talent try as soon as you land. Oh okay. gosh, yeah, we're gonna need to, aren't we? Oh boy, okay. Nice. Okay, all right. Saved it. Yeah, there's a few instances of the game where, like, you have to do that. Uh, and it's always a little, like, dicey of, like... You gotta be just a, a really tight window of going into Talent Rot there. I think that's the last note. That was the last note in the game. We got all 900. We got all the notes in the dang game, y'all. Got all 900, and now we just have to do a really scary thing. One final scary thing. Well, there's some more scary things after, but... Ow. Kuzui was really gripping on the, the side of that. Like, I was really impressed. I expected yeah. to fall a lot sooner. No, no, ice. That's fine. Oh, no, ice. Oh, no, ice. Oh, no, more ice. 
Do you think when they have like a like a glass of juice and there's ice in it? <laughs> do you think those ice are sentient and have eyes? <laughs> like, hey, we're chilling your 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 cup of cranberry juice. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Icy water takes double air. Oh, come on. I hate that. I want out. I want. You do do the slow swim. Yeah, we need to. We need to slow swim. Get out of here. There you go. Help. Oh, Banjo. No. 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 Banjo and Kazoo. Out. Out. Thank you. Okay. I feel better. All right, we gotta swim in that. To where, though? Let me. You gotta go all the way around to the <sighs> entrance of the beaver. Devastating. So just hug that right wall. Gotcha. All right, let's go swimming. There's not new music in here. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, all right, so just twelve then. Just twelve. Even dozen. There's only twelve. Keep going. There you go. Grant, come on. It's right there. Oop. Don't forget R. The sharp yep. turn. Oh, it's gonna be close. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, cool. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Oh my gosh. Jump out of there as soon as you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was very close. I was very scared. Here we are. Hey, show me the honey. Got an achievement. <laughs> We're getting all the things. Thanks, Xbox. Cool. I don't usually get visitors in winter. <laughs> It's very British. Or is that more an Australian thing? That's British. It's gotta be British. I imagine. I mean, I assume. We got everything, don't we? We got look at look, look at those totals. Wow. That's all the dang stuff from every single level in this video game. Dang it. <laughs> you had enough for it. <laughs> and then we just have two to get in Grunty's Lair. Yeah. Who we get those right now, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get them. Just gonna knock it out. There's So we need to go to Spring to be B. Yeah, we need to become a B. And then the other one is... Uh, the other one is the Bubble Gloop Swamp one. I, no, 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 that's not that. That's it's not that. the Freeze Easy. Freeze Easy. <gasps> right, 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 right. right. Glad you remembered. Right. So that was an instance of, as the B, if, we, if, we, if I got the B thing, we could have um, clipped into that as the B. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that would have made that easier. Here, do you want to do the honors of doing the the fetching? Sure. Alrighty. Let me get to top of this hill here. Here we go. Go for it. Ah, oh, what a good click clock woods time we've had. It's so good. I love it. You just kind of get to like. It's very different from all the other levels. You just kind of get to settle into it for a nice long time, but it, there's yeah. so much variety in it. Yeah. And it's kind of nice, too, of, like, when you're done with a certain segment, you get the jiggy. You don't have to deal with that area anymore. You yeah, know? yeah. Just kind of start crossing them off the list. Like, that 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 top area, I love how it's just, like, if you want to wait and do it easier later on, because you can just fly up there. Yeah, you know? yeah. You can always do that. Ah, uh, this is not this is not my favorite game in the world, but it is up there. It is yeah. one that I that just makes me very happy. The cars agree. Not even like two or three straight episodes of car noise can dampen my mood. <laughs> not even. They've tried really hard too, man. They've they this are. is the hardest I think they've tried in months, maybe years, <laughs> maybe ever. Maybe not error. You've probably had. I think the last time they were this annoying during a multiplayer recording was the time we... I think it was the Battle of the Dance years ago when we first gave them the nickname. There was, yeah, I remember. Ah, you find a big hidden feature spell. Mumbo turned Banjo into T-Rex. Crush which easy. That's exciting. Oh. Changed mind. T-Rex spell too good for this game. <laughs> Mumbo key for next game. <laughs> I believe that's just a random chance that one happens as well. That's pretty good. I like it. I'd forgotten that one. 
<laughs> now he's a happy little waddle and bee. Happy bee. I'm gonna go get a G a gee. Go be go. Ah. <sighs> what a grand old time. I passed it. You did. Just passed it immediately. Yeah, I'm just going for the victory lap. Yeah. A nice little circle around the tree. I really hope that Rare is working on another Banjo Kazooie thing. I feel fairly confident they're not, but we can hold out. Hope. We can hope. And that's all we need sometimes. Maybe someday. All right. Go get that jiggy. Oh, there it is. Long of tooth and strong of arm. Grunty's got the lasting charm. It's true. That's pretty good. That's just like sort of like a little cheer for yourself there. <laughs> go team, go. Just casually gonna just try this one. You gonna try it one more time? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get out of here. Come on, Xbox. Don't kill our fun. Don't be a party pooper, Xbox. <laughs> it really looks like you can just... Doesn't it? Get out. Like you could just escape. Alas, you are a caged bee. Caged bee. You will never know true freedom. But was your mind ready for that true freedom? That really looks like you're about to just... No. Oh, well. We tried. We tried. I think, I think only the PAL version can. I don't know. I don't even know if uh, doing it the way uh, I knew how to do it works in... <laughs> the Xbox version. Yeah. Now, Rare saved that one just for the pal folks. For their pals. I'm really not on my A game today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. You're always on your A game. Now, that's just an untruth. I disagree. Wouldn't it be so, so like, you, as a streamer, you've had, like, we've all had a days when we're recording or streaming or whatever it is, and we're just on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, I can never, like, I've never been able to figure out what makes me just be really on my game, some sessions, and others not. Like, I just can't, I can't reproduce it. On purpose. Yeah. It's very frustrating. It is. It is quite frustrating because there's times that I want, like, I, I have, like, the energy of, you know, being like, I'm ready to bring my A game. Yeah, yeah. But then you're just, I mean, you're stumbling all over your words. I mean, I do that all the time. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like I'm just really, like, I go to say a word and I just say the wrong, like, version of the word. And I don't know why. Because uh, normally, when I'm conversing with like a friend, I'm fine with that. But I think like the second I, I I go to record or anything like that, it's like here come all the you know flaws in my speech. Yeah, yeah. You became you become way more aware of them. Yeah. This is very frustrating to start trying to talk to describe a thing and suddenly realize I don't have any of the words I need right now to explain what I'm trying to talk about. Yeah. There's also a thing that I've noticed where like. I have a word that I know the definition of it, uh, but I don't use it a lot in like, you know, common conversations. Yeah. But then I go to use it and I suddenly doubt, I'm like, does that actually <laughs> mean what I think it means? Uh, I can't use that word, but it's exactly the word I need to use in this situation. So then I just- And you don't have a backup prepared. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is a really tight window. 
Nice. Oh, man. Just in time. That's a ridiculously tight window. Rare, how did you expect 12-year-olds to do that? Yeah. They spend all afternoon, that's how. <laughs> I know, I did it. Look at that, you got it! Every jiggy, every note, every honeycomb. We've got everything, we're ready for the end. I think next time, y'all, I think next time's gonna be the finale of Banjo-Kazooie. We did it! I'm very excited. <laughs> no. I'll be, I'll be more alert for that one, I promise. Me too. I can't promise that. I'll try to be more alert. <laughs> there will be fewer cars. There might not be. Yes, if you, I think we'll be fewer, because because one, it'll be the first episode of us recording, so. That's true. We'll probably be a little earlier, you know? Yeah. It's all going to be great. <laughs> all those uh, car drivers will be in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've lost hope for that one. It's been... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have lived here over seven years. And if anything, they've only grown in number. <laughs> they have an army now. Crazy. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching, despite our nonsense. I hope you've enjoyed the Click Clock Woods, because I certainly have. We'll see you next time for the finale of Banjo-Kazooie. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.